Hi, this is Pastor Lynn Ballinger coming to you from Pensacola, Florida, right here in the United States of America. And we are so proud to be connected with Rise Up in Grace Ministries in Karachi, Pakistan, that's touching Pakistan with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The only hope for man, the only hope for today is Jesus. And we're so thankful to be a part with Donish Peter and everyone there in Karachi. We are happy today that God has allowed us to create a partnership to see and be a part of what God's doing, touching people, doing different kinds of projects for those who are in need, doing different uh, things around the nation, but especially carrying the gospel of Jesus Christ because we know Jesus changes our hearts and we are so thankful to be a part with them and to be a part with you. And so we invite you, if you're watching this, to also join in and be a part with Rise Up in Grace Ministries and know that God is on the throne and that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise the Lord. Today I am so privileged to be here and the Lord has given us this privilege to serve on the land of Karoke. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, precious brothers and sisters in Christ. It's evangelist Danish Peter here, live to you all from Karoke, the place where we have uh, uh, installed some of the water pumps and at the place where we have our mission school. There is another mission school too, but this is the very first place where we have uh, uh, planted our mission school. Anita Danish Peter, Vice Chairperson of Rise Up in Grace Ministries. In these few years, we have reached to the most darkened and unreached areas of Pakistan. This seemed to be very difficult and impossible for us, but Jesus has enabled us to reach such areas. Till now, we have done a lot of things, but there is yet a lot to be done. We are really thankful to all our partners who are praying for us and who are helping us to do such a great work for our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Evangelist Rahil John and I am National Director of Rise Up in Grace Ministries in Pakistan. We have received more than 500 healing testimonies and more than 1,000 people decided to walk with Jesus Christ. We have also planted more than 10 water pumps in tribal area and this is only because of the grace of God and your prayers. We are very thankful to the Lord and to our beloved brothers and sisters who are partner to us. We need to take the gospel into the nation and it will only happen when we will be united in the body of Christ. We need your prayers and we need your support. God bless you all. <laughs> I am Evangelist Danish Peter, President and Chairman of Rise Up in Grace Ministries, serving in the nation of Pakistan. So grateful to the Lord for this opportunity uh, that He has provided us to go into the nations and preach the gospel to the ends of this nation of Pakistan. I am so blessed and privileged to be a partner and associate with Jubilee International Church in Pensacola, Florida. Brother Len Belanger, Pastor Len Belanger, has been so near to my heart. And he is such a, an awesome support for our ministry to serve in the nation of Pakistan. 
We are heading from the world's largest Muslim city, which is Karachi, and God is enabling us to reach out to the ends of this nation. And by the grace of God, by the prayers of the beloved brothers and sisters, He have empowered us to impact the nations with the everlasting love of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have planted uh, more than two uh, schools in the tribal and remote areas. And I feel that these schools are impacting the nations in those tribal and remote areas in, in, in a magnificent way because we have been receiving the testimonies from the tribal and remote areas that how the people are being impacted because of providing them the education, the free education in those regions. People are in slavery, women are being raped every day and uh, people are dying <clears throat> because of being in slavery but we are so thankful to the lord that he has enabled us to go to those who do not have hope and tell them that jesus loves them and even not this but we are also planting the free water cleaning pumps in in those regions where where people are dying because of drinking the unclean water and people are dying children are dying women are dying all people are dying but by the grace of God and by the precious partnership and uh, financial support of those brothers who have the heart like Jesus Christ that we are going and we are providing them and giving them hope in Christ Jesus. Crusades and conferences are such an amazing way. Crusades specifically talking about the crusades. Uh, they are such an awesome way to reach out those um, who have never heard about Jesus Christ ever before. And by the grace of God, we have uh, received more than 500 healing testimonies in the recent crusades and the healing festivals we have did in the city of Karachi and many other different cities of Pakistan. And over a thousand people are now a part of the family of God. Isn't that amazing? More than a thousand people in the last couple of months, we have reached out to thousands and God have given us the numbers more than a thousand people who are now, many of them are now the part of our church and our congregation. Television ministry is such an awesome way to reach out to those areas which are restricted for the gospel, but media is reaching to those areas. So uh, with the help of uh, Gawahi Television, we are reaching out to the nations. Now, uh, Gawahi Television is one of the largest growing Christian television station in the nation of Pakistan, and we are blessed to broadcast our programs now we have the program with the name of Bedari which in English means revival then every week we are there telling the nations that Jesus loves them Jesus cares for them and this is such an amazing way to reach the unreached areas where the gospel is restricted we can go through the media there is production cost involved in it but we are seeking for the Lord's grace in it we are so thankful for everything God has enabled us to do uh, there is a lot we have to do because I feel that God has called us to uh, preach the gospel across the nations of the world. And this is all going to be happening because of the precious partnership of our blood, beloved uh, brothers and sisters who have a heart and uh, who have a heart to share the vision with us, who have the heart to take the gospel with us to the ends of the world. And not only this, um, and let me just tell you that uh, we, we want to build up the first revival center in Karachi, Pakistan. It's a big project, but, but nothing is impossible near to Jesus. We, we are raising, we need like um, $200,000 to reach out to, to plant this revival center in the nation of Pakistan, uh, in the largest Muslim city, which is Karachi, Pakistan. The most urgent need we have at this point of time is the ministry van which we want to buy which we want to purchase so our team can uh, easily travel because when we are traveling through uh, different traveling ways it's it's very costly for us but we uh, want to buy our own ministry van in which our team can travel to one city to another uh, with the gospel of jesus christ and i believe that it's going to be a beneficial and effective step towards uh, towards the empowerment <laughs> 